based on what we see when we meditate? Can we recognize what frequency we are on and what it looks like? Because I could see different things. I mean, I could see all kinds of things. But I would love to know if there is any way we can kind of recognize where we are on that um, scale that you drew for us there. Thank Isn't this you. a great question? <laughs> <clears throat> now, this is a question that I want to answer because <clears throat> It's a progression or an evolution of what we're doing. So, how many people in this room have had a lucid dream? A dream that seems more real than where you are right now and you're aware and you're awake in the dream and you could almost control it. And every time I go lucid, I go, let's fly. And I just start flying, like, why not? And so the idea is in the beginning. Imagine the board is up there. <laughs> As you traverse through those different energies, those different frequencies, every one of those frequencies is carrying information. And when I started doing the work, I would, have, I would be sitting up and I would be dreaming, like very lucid dreaming. But a lot of times I'd wind up in the refrigerator between two cucumbers or I'd wind up through the floorboards in my house or, you know, or I would be in a weird place and it didn't make any sense. And what you're working on doing is moving through those layers. Enjoy the experience, become aware of it, but it's not the end. Do you understand? You're moving through layers. And if you wind up in the bottom of the sea or you wind up seeing spaceships or all of that stuff, it's information. It's information. Now, the ultimate goal, though, is to be able to direct it. Do you understand? Come on. If you're in the lucid dream, then you're waking up in the dream. Why not say, I should be able to control this? Who the hell are you? Who are you? you go and investigate the experience consciously. And so then you're able to direct your attention and direct the experience and interact in that event. As you get more specific, you land greater coordinates. Do you understand what I mean by that? There's a big sea of information, yes? And your nervous system is really tuned. And you can tune in to all kinds of frequencies with all kinds of information. And you're getting downloads and images and all that stuff. And that's great. And we don't want you to stop doing it. We want you to evolve it. And so as you evolve the coordinates, why not take that same level of lucidity and wake up in your future mind movie? You understand what I'm saying now? Now the coordinate is a very specific future that you want to experience. A very specific outcome that you're tuning your nervous system to experience as lucid as all the other things you're experiencing. And then, of course, your attention and your energy are in that future. And now you're beginning to direct and dream lucidly and consciously. Are you with me still? Now, when I did the event in Cabo San Lucas, in uh, 2017, at the end of the year, the advanced follow-up. I called that event Dream Time. And that's exactly what it was. We went from 11 o'clock at night till 6 or 7 in the morning. And you had the whole day to hang out on the beach or sleep or drink tequila or swim in the pool or complain with your friends that you didn't sleep, whatever you want to do. But I was getting people up and down in the middle of the night be because all the pineal gland work was between one and four in the morning, that is the big window. The big window, if you could not be a victim and just participate, you're gonna have a pretty profound experience. And I had them wake up, and as soon as they woke up, write their dreams down. Why, because so many times, we come up, and we lose the dream, and we go back down, and we don't remember it. And as you get in the habit, of remembering your dreams, and you get in the habit of accessing that information subconsciously, sooner or later, you're gonna to begin to wake up in your dream and direct it. 
And that kind of dreaming that I'm talking about is the same dream the caterpillar has to become the butterfly. It dreams of flight. And we want to dream that lucidly of our future. And now you're just starting to integrate information for you to be able to do that. Now just get more specific on the coordinates. Is it cool? Absolutely. Will you see interdimensional beings? Absolutely. You have the brain chemistry to do it. Don't stop it. Just direct it towards an outcome and don't get caught up in the phenomena. Just keep creating and keep going deeper and keep asking, is there more love? And so you're in between levels, more than likely right at the level of light or right below it to the right to the level above. But evolve your frequency a little faster and see what happens next.